students from Prostatin are urging more people to assess free school meals in a campaign to end the stigma around it. More than 76,000 pupils in Wales qualify for free school meals, but many apparently go unclaimed due to a fear of feeling embarrassed or ashamed. Ian Lang reports. Lunchtime at Prostatin High School. Some of the pupils here, like thousands across Wales, will be on free school meals. But these students say they've seen for themselves the shame some pupils feel for getting financial help, £2.35 a day, to afford the food they need. As much as people have tried to remove the stigma about free school meals in recent years, it's still around. And I think sometimes that it can be seen in such a negative way that it affects young children and they're not feeling as if they're capable to go up and speak to someone you know we were talking to some young people and they said they you know they've had to ask friends to buy lunch and things i don't think they'd even mention it because they're scared of the stigma but i've seen like in the queue they can't afford food and they're a bit awkward about it and they don't know what to do um and then you feel bad for them but you can't really do anything it's a subject that's seen them make a film exploring the issue with the help of the fixes charity and it's also seen them giving evidence to mps in parliament as part of the children's future food inquiry so what do they think needs to change? I think personally, it's if you make the food cheaper, and make especially the healthier food, then it'd be better for everyone because everyone's eating better diets. And if they see that the um, that the junk food is expensive, naturally people will sway away from it. You need to remove the stigma around free school meals, and we really think a name change would do wonders. And for the teacher who's guided them through it all, there's a great sense of pride at what they're trying to achieve. We're representing Wales on a national level, which is so important for an issue that's so valued in this day and age. We need to make sure that students are fed and it will help attainment. It will reduce the attainment gap. And for them to do that, it's absolutely amazing. It's a campaign that's certainly already playing a part in the battle against food poverty. Ian Lang, ITV News, at Prostatin High School.